What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here and I welcome you back to Skies of Arcadia Legends for the GameCube. In the last episode, we filled out our crew list. Yes, as you can see, we have every possible crew member here for our ship and we can arrange them, you know, well, you can switch your, you know, Warns for Don, or Hans for Brahmin, you know, however you want. You can't just do any person you want here. But ideally, we do have them all now. Because we have them all, I have the means in order to be able to show you that ultimate attack that I kept talking about uh, last episode or two episodes ago. Probably last episode. But I'm not going to do it yet, only because I would rather... Um, I have a few other things I'd rather do first, a few other chores I'd like to get done, like finding some more discoveries. Because those, if we go to our journal and to here... We're starting to fill those out very well, too. I mean, look, that's three pages. I've gone through three pages, and now we start having all the question marks. Now, just to let you know, this discovery right here was the last discovery in the original Skies of Arcadia in Eternal Arcadia. So, you only had four pages worth of discoveries, and whatever this is, which I didn't remember what it is, actually, that was it. So now you have this whole page... And then this, like, one last row. So they did add in quite a few, which is nice. <laughs> it's just a pain in the butt. But, um, let's start filling them out, shall we? First things first. Here I am over this kind of, like, this sky rift here that kind of crisscrosses. Um, it's, like, right around here. You, know, you have Shrine Isle right here. kind of crisscrosses or whatever. And you want to be, like, if you're looking at the center, yeah, like east-ish, uh, I'm like more southwest because I'm facing northeast, so you want to kind of be on this side of it, and then you want to drop all the way down to lower sky, and then down here, the compass should start spinning, yep, and I discover one of my favorite discoveries, I mean, I love them all, but this one is just so cool, the bottomless pits, now, you see these things pop up, don't let their size fool you, and I'll show you what I mean after we, you know, read the description, which is also really cool. A chimney-like rocky mountain with a hollow center rising up from the great cloud sea. From the depths of the pit, it is said that a woman's weeping can be heard in the wind. Could this be the mythical entrance to the land of the dead? Ooh. I mean, it's all like, you know, myth and, you know, whatever to for the game, but... I don't know, I just think it's really cool. Like, you have all of these, like, cool pillars sticking up from the bottom of uh, the clouds from these large, like, mountains under there, which we'll see deep, deep sky later. Um, and then, of course, the wind is making the howl. It's just so cool. But, like I said, don't let the sights fool you. Because they're gigantic. Look at that. I, they're huge. You turn around and, like, look at them all sticking up and everything. Like, our ship could probably fly down into one of them if it actually let us, but it's not going to. And so as you're flying around, you'll actually see them. I mean, I, I, I think that's awesome. Like, they're huge. My God. Um, next discovery I want to get is actually in Upper Sky, and it is over by our home island of Pirate Isle. Well, I should say our old home of Pirate Isle, because now we have Crescent Island as our main digs. I think it's actually... Is it over? Is it this mountain? I don't think so. I don't think it's anything in this mountain. Usually not. I think it's actually... this. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, I was like, it's visible, I thought. No, this is it. This is the discovery. This island, like, pouring down water here. This happens to be... The Moonstone Lake. And our ship definitely disappeared because we were right on top of this thing. A truly rare sight. A waterfall that runs through a vein of moonstones. The water plunges from above to carry away bits of moonstone, and it is said to have mystic attributes. It is believed that those who drink the water enjoy a long life. Possibly a, pl a placebo effect, you know, you think you're getting a long life, so you do. Or it could actually have something to do with the silver moon crystals in this area, being like harbingers of life and death and things along that way. So maybe it will, maybe it will, I don't know, but this is something that was up here for a while. We actually saw this, you know when we first got into this area, you know, going home and everything, but we couldn't get it because it was too high. So, for the rest of this episode, I'm going to be heading over to Ixataka. I'm going to be collecting a bunch of discoveries here. There's actually no deep sky uh, discoveries in Ixataka. There's only like two or three, I want to say, um, above the cloud ones that I need to get. And then, my friends, 
we go after the next Sky Beast. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I like having the Sky Beast as, you know, one episode apiece, just so if you're curious about it, you know, particularly, you know where to find it, or, you know, just just because, you know, why not type deal. Plus it gives me an excuse to kind of just fly around and uh, pick out uh, various discoveries that I want to get, fill out the list. And after we're done here with Ixitaka, I'll most likely have time, because this Sky Beast is not tough at all, and then I'll definitely head on over and uh, probably get a few from Yafutoma. Alright, so I need to find an island above the clouds, and it's kind of like a, it looks kind of like that down there, the circular one, but it's definitely, uh, if I can get my bearing straight, there we go, but it's definitely above the clouds. Let's fly over this way, kind of, kind of get in my bearings first, aha, here we are, perfect, okay, this is it. Oh, and then actually before I grab that, uh, remember the flutterflies that I was telling you guys about, that there was somebody that actually talked about them? Well, there's actually this ship, which is in high sky above Ixitaka, which is crazy, I didn't think that they had this ability, but you talk to him, the Ixitakan hermit, I lived apart from the rest of the world in this quiet place, making my home with flowers and the insects. Don't know how they get up this high, but whatever. Plus, we can see the bird from here, which is really cool. I'm grateful that you took the trouble to visit me, so let me tell you a little secret. North of the lands of the Yellow Moon, there is a wonderful flower called the Balloon Flower. It is very beautiful. You'll also find a huge flock of insects that flutter in the winds if you travel to the land where Ixtaka meets the land of the Red Moon. Travel high in the sky to find flutterflies. See? So there you go. So there's like a little hint in order to find that really difficult discovery. But around here, it's like flying around hitting the A button, we discover a monkey! The Alupus, Alupas? Alupas! A baboon with a cool mohawk like thing on his head. An ancient species that predates the Ixitakan civilization. So these things are old. The Alupas live quietly in the forest, way above high sky, however they got there, we don't know, but this is where they are. Their calm, proud Demeter has earned them the name Sages of the Forest. They are also known for choosing their mates for life. So yeah, it's pretty much a baboon type deal, so a cool looking monkey and everything. Unfortunately, unlike the penguin that we found in the Land of Ice, this guy doesn't move, he just kinda chills there, staring off into nothingness, which is kinda, kinda weird. Um, if you head on over, you're gonna start seeing a bunch of these, uh, like, mountains rising up. Oh, I found the right one! I actually, uh, didn't know if I was gonna be able to find it in the first shot. We have the Observatory. A civilization once flourished in this land under the green moon. The observatory built on this Ixitakan plateau speaks to their advanced studies of astronomy. But they could do naught to watch as a shower of moonstones destroyed their culture. So you gotta get that little point in, the, in there that, you know, they built this observatory, they were very intellectual people, they liked the stars, they liked astronomy, they had all, like, you know, their, you know, everything that they had based off that and everything, and they couldn't do anything as the moonstones crashed down and basically destroyed stuff, including this beautiful observatory, which is now in ruins. So over here we have, if you may recognize it, all right, so what I'm gonna be fighting in the sky over there, um, the Exotakan Temple, which is pretty cool. We climbed this up. You can actually still see, um, kind of like, if you look vaguely where the uh, the tip of the Delphinus is, you can see, you know, the Sylvite standing there and everything. So, this is how high we were. And just to say, this is how high we were, and Grendel was still sticking out over the tops of, uh, you know, the clouds here. But then when we went back down, he was, just, like, lower again, which is weird. So, those were the two discoveries. I thought there was three. There was only two. But what we will be doing is fighting that thing over there. That flying bird that I don't know if it respawns. I'm really not 100% sure, but we gotta beat it once. Bring it, big bird. Come on, right here. Charge at me. What do you got? What you got? You wanna play a game of chicken, you chicken? Wow, that's huge. Whoa, what is that thing? I've never seen a bird this big before. I don't know, but it looks like he's hungry. <laughs> yep, we got something here in order to be able to kill. Let's go ahead and um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead. We will, yeah, we'll Ancient Cannon there. Well, Apple Wax here. And then I'm just gonna start throwing some gear greases just to power up. And we start our battle with the rock. 
45,000 HP will give you 13,580 experience, 6,900 gold. If you have Khalifa in your team, you will get the wooden doll. If you have Osman in your team, you will get the gold bullion. So it all depends on which uh, of the two crew members you have in your team to determine what this thing will drop. And this is like, you know, it's going to be an interesting fight because this thing has two basic attacks. It like screeches at us using here the blast voice and then it'll grab us with those giant claws, shake us around and look like it's doing a lot of damage, but really it doesn't do that much. Even that didn't do much, it's like really. So the rock is actually based off of a real mythological beast. Uh, it is called like, you can look up, you know, rock, R-O-C and find pictures of these birds, giant, giant birds that were supposed to exist big enough in order to pick up like elephants and buffalo and you know humans things along that ways it also relates to the north american um the mythological cryptid of the thunderbird which is of course a giant bird that supposedly lives out in like the midwest or whatever so this thing has you know some interesting you know references to real life one of the few um well there's a giant squid that we fought so that is like a real life thing as well so i think this is all this thing does until it actually has like a red turn but yeah, that's pretty cool. And I like its design. It's very bright and colorful. And I guess if it is like a Thunderbird, you know, its wings flap and sound like thunder and then it blocks out the sun, but it's all red. So it's like the color of it. It's really cool. That scream. It's too powerful. It's going to tear the ship apart. It's still coming after us. He must really, really be hungry. All right. So there you go. There's our little red spot right there. Um... I think we just have to like survive this round per se, and then in the next round, depending on what we do or what we choose, we'll be able to um, do the Moonstone Cannon or not. So I think what I'm going to do for Vice is I am going to, I have lots of SP, so I really should not worry too much about uh, using or not using. Um, uh, I can't really have Vice not not do anything. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to give Reese more time here. Ica, I'm going to have you do an Arc Whale Torpedo to hit that there. Fina, and you know what? There we go. Much better. Yeah, yeah, we'll go all the way through. And Enrique. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to do the H Cannon there. Whoops. <laughs> That's okay. We'll, we'll still kill it. I'm not really too worried about it. Because, as you can tell, we're pretty far into the game. And at this point... <laughs> there's not really much that can take us down. Um, there's only one more Sky Beast to fight after this, and... Oh, cool, here it is! Grab! Yeah, see, he grabs us, shakes us around. That's an okay amount of damage, but honestly, the Delphinus can easily take it. But yeah, we only have one more Sky Beast to fight after this, and honestly, it's kind of more of a joke than anything. It, it's, it's not tough at all, so I would not even worry yourselves in the slightest bit. There are plenty of other uh, sky battles that we have to go through, so I'm very difficult. But for now, let's just take down anything huge and seemingly threatening in the sky. I am going to feel bad with this thing as well, because, you know, we killed the giant squid. That could have fed our crew for weeks. This thing is going to die too, and we're not going to be able to take, like, a drumstick or anything? Like, that's, that's a little upsetting. It's going to kill it. Ooh! Oh. So close! Ah, oh, so close to death. That's nuts. Alright, are we done with this round? I think we may be done with this round, and then I can fully fry this turkey. Vice, awaiting orders. What should we do? Yeah, so, holding our position, we'll actually just do, you know, absolutely nothing. It'll just be the green, red, green, red. If we take that thing straight on, yeah, he gets a little bit more damage on us, but it starts with the moonstone. So, take that thing head on. Let's aim for its head. Heads forth, head on! Well, I suppose we have to take a risk sometimes. Just watch out for his attack. Okay, Vice? Shit! We're fine. We'll be alright. I'm not worried about it. Alright. Death to the giant chicken. Um, there's really nothing else we can do. This is going to kill it, so... Let's just, um... Yeah, uh, uh, sure, Ika. Let's go ahead and blast with electricity. You can do... Yeah, guard and guard. Rotisserie cannon, fire! Moonstone cannon, fire! I like the dark meat. Be careful with the wings and the legs. <laughs> oh my god! 
God, we nearly killed it with just that. Oh, and he explodes and falls in a flame of glory, never to be seen again. And we just fly away as if nothing ever happened. Good job, Vice and Gru. Good job, guys. Oh, boy. Uh, all right, cool. We get some experience. Got a few level ups. And we get the wooden doll because I had Khalifa in my team. Nice. Oh, boy. <laughs> Isn't that something? Yeah, so I think the rock will respawn if I, like, quit and come back into the game. So then you can go and fight him again, I think. But that also could just be in the original Skies of Arcadia. I don't know if they did that in Legends because, you know, they added in the other Sky Beast. So I guess they're just like, eh, you don't need to do that. And I'm just like, well, maybe I wanted to, but... Yeah, who knows? Okay, so we're going to be heading over to Yafutoma, and there's actually a bunch of discoveries in High Sky right around the Tenko Island area. Um, one of them is a really annoying moving one, and another is a really annoying invisible island. So, if I happen to cut it, then um, it'll just be me pretty much trying to find those things. But I'm going to try my best in order to find them on my own. Let me just see here. Make sure I'm going in kind of the direction I want. Yeah, let's just head north. Uh, the first discovery that I would really like is one that goes above and below the clouds, actually. Uh, it'll be in high sky, and there is a chance for it to be in mid sky. And then if you happen to follow it, it will lead you to that invisible island. Now, it's just a matter of will I find it, is one question, <laughs> and two... Uh, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I will. Let's actually head closer to Tenko Island because that's where everything is. I know when I did this in my practice, I just happened... Uh, you are just a ship, right? Nope, nope. Oh, wait! Back up! Back up! Ah! Yes! Oh my god, that's great! And I'll explain the two of these guys together momentarily. So first things first. Um, Ryugu Island. Unfortunately, this... Uh, okay, so you know what? I'm just going to show this right here. Um, give me a second. So here's this, yada, yada, yada. Okay, now I'm going to fly over here. And we're going to hit the Ryugu Turtle. Now, I know I normally read them, but these two discoveries, which were put into the Skies of Arcadia Leg Legends, actually tell a story together. So, first part is Ryugu Turtle. Once upon a time, an old man rescued a turtle who was being picked on by the neighborhood children. Thanking the old man, the turtle offered to give the old man a ride on his back. So, into the sky they flew to a faraway land. A Yafutoman legend. Right? Okay? Part one. Awesome. Guy finds a turtle, saves it from a bunch of bullies, get on my back, we fly a never-ending story like into the clouds. Awesome. Sweet. Where do they fly to? They fly... To Ryugu Island. And so the turtle brought the old man to an island of great beauty where the beautiful Princess Odo awaited. They laughed and ate and danced for days. When the turtle finally brought the old man home, 300 years had passed. Pretty cool, right? Like, it's like, you know, you go to these like fun places or whatever and, you know, you have the time of your life. It is paradise, but, you know, time flows differently. So ideally speaking, what you could do, and actually you just kind of saw the turtle start going into mid-sky. It'll go down into mid-sky, hook around, come back, and then it'll start coming up through uh, the clouds to high sky. And as long as you follow the turtle, you will find the invisible island. So it, they work together. And these are Legends discoveries, and that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I... I spent about 10 minutes prior to the start of this episode, whoops, I want to go north, um, trying to find the bottomless pit, and that was a pain in the butt of do. That, I'm, I'm just glad that I found quickly, Hopefully, I'll find some more quickly too. Uh, this little island here, so there's Tenko Island, little island over the side, we have ourselves a discovery, the Mother Tree. This tree is revered by the Yafutomans. In one of their ancient scriptures, it is said that he who climbs to the top of this tree will someday conquer the world. The tree is now 2,000 years old. To this day, no one has ever made it to the top. Wow, I wonder how you're able to do that. I mean, making it to the top, you must have some type of extreme flying machine that goes well, in this direction. Uh, uh, hip, 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 hip. 
Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. And I did it. I at the top. I win. Do I, do I win things? I must win the world now, right? This is my world because I've touched the top. Yes, I know I've seen other Let's Players do this and everything, but you know what? It just kind of writes itself. You have to do that. I mean, seriously. Okay, so now I'm going to face south. We're going to... I keep getting the wrong buttons. Now we're going to drop down into the lower sky. Down, 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 down. And under here, there should be um, kind of like a, a, a random like island or random stone thing or whatever. Uh, kind of underneath uh, Yafutoma. So we're gonna be I'm gonna be flying south Towards Yafutoma itself. Let me see. Am I going in the right direction? Yes, okay good All right, it's probably gonna be still a little bit of ways, but you know This is generally what you want to do you want to go down into the area below the clouds in the Yafutoma And it's near like I want to say the beginning of Yafutoma where like the main gates are fish Come here, come here, come here. Oh, I see the island good. Oh seahorses. Oh, okay cool. Nice <laughs> I don't think they're called seahorses, but it's awesome so here it is, here's our little island right here, all by itself. And it contains, or has I should say, the Stone Lovers. It is said that the tomb of a great Yafutoman king is hidden somewhere near the statue. The people of Yafutoma believe that this statue was carved after his death to show the love that his people had for him and the love that he had for his wife. Aww, that's so sweet. So. Uh, just, you know, backstory a little bit on the Afutoma, pretty cool thing, you know, you have these two figures here, which are really nice, and you can always come by and take a look at them as well. That, I think, was also a legend, was that a legend? Hang on one second. I mean, I'm just gonna keep flying and randomly, you know, talk about stuff. Um, yeah, Stone Lovers is a, uh, legends thing. Now, <laughs> when I first got to Yafutoma, there was a discovery, uh, in Deep Sky, that I found, and it's roughly along uh, this latitude line right here in Deep Sky. And I saw it, and I wanted to get it, but the game wouldn't let me get it, because it's a jerk. So now that I am here, I am going to attempt to find uh, this moving discover. And luckily, it's like the paper airplane. Like, it only moves so far back and forth in kind of like a set position. So if I go all the way east and I don't see it, I'm just going to turn directly west. Am I still in the right spot? Yeah, yeah, I think I can do it. Okay, let's get up a little bit. Hopefully it's coming at me. That would be awesome if it's coming directly at me. <laughs> and then I can be able to grab it. I'm just going to kind of... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, was that what I thought it was? No? Come on. Nope. Okay, so it's... I must have missed it. There is another Below the Sky Discovery, though that I do want to uh, try to find, and it's right near where we came out from the uh, the uh, the Dark Rift. It would have been really cool if I was able to find uh, uh, another very difficult discovery. Okay, you know what, I'm going to just fly around until I find uh, the moving discovery first, and then I will move ahead towards the other one, so hold on one second. Aha! There you are! Come back here! I see you going the other way. Turn, 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 turn! Yep, see, this was the thing. I, it's blue, which is pretty cool, because we're in the Alphatoma, so everything's blue. And this happens to be the Deep Iron Star. So remember, in the Land Under the Red Moon in Nasser, they have the Iron Star up in the sky. This is a Deep Iron scar, uh, Star. A metallic relic of the ancient world. Legend has it that this ancient one's harness, that the ancient ones harnessed the power of the blue moon to be able to detect sound waves to let them know when their enemies were approaching. Perhaps this machine once served such a purpose. So it's kind of like, it's like a submarine type deal. You know, it's underneath all the clouds and everything. So it's able to keep track of, you know, movement of stuff. I don't know, I think it's, this is exclusive to Legends. This wasn't in the original. So they just kind of took the idea of the Iron Star and made it like underwater, quote, quote, under clouds. So I thought it was really cool. Plus it looks like a submarine to me a little bit, you know, and away you go. Plus it has like this. The huge uh, antenna sticking out, which could be a periscope. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to fly. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually going to try to fly a little bit closer to the dark rift. So let me go ahead and fly over here. I got to get a little bit closer. There is this one discovery, and it's basically it's called the Rolling Rock. 
I'm hopefully gonna find it. I doubt it, but I hope I'm gonna find it. And what that thing likes to do is it likes to roll through the dark rift. Like, its pattern goes through the dark rift. And it is probably one of the hardest discoveries to find in the game. There's kind of a cheap way in order to find it, which I may start the next episode with. But for right now, I'm just going to be going to where we came out from. Yep, right here. And then somewhere around underneath where you came out, hit the button. Right? It should be around here. I thought it was like in this area. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna fly around this area a little bit, hitting the button. Lots and lots of button. Something may pop up. Yeah, there's fishes. Gonna catch them because they can. Uh, da, 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 da. Um. All right. Hold on. Okay, maybe it's not on this one. Alright, hold on one second. Let me just kind of get my bearings together wherever this last uh, discovery is. Okay, I was wrong. I was on the wrong side of the Dark Rift. I thought it was over here on the Afotoman side. Now it's over here where you fight the giant squid. And I really wish that thing would come back. But there in front of us is the giant squid nest. You remember that discovery? You want to go down underneath that island. And you want to get... I want to say it's mostly in the west side. Um, I'm just gonna keep hitting A until I hopefully find something. It's down underneath here. It's a little discovery. And I... There we go! I don't know what I clicked. I don't know how it ended up being here. But sure, I have found the ancient fish. A species of fish that was believed to have been extinct millions of years ago. Its uh, vestigial gills and fins that look like hands and feet seem to point to an evolutionary path from the waters to dry land and then to the skies. I like how they threw that in there at the end and then to the skies because, you know, fish are flying literally. So, you go know, from water to dry land to the air. Maybe that's our next evolution in terms of human-wise. So, the ancient fish itself is floating around. Um, where is it? You can actually catch it. Ah, oh, there it is. So I'm going to fly over. I caught it. Yay, it's an A-fish. Now, that fish also is based off of a real-life animal. And I hope that I'm pronouncing this right. The coelacanth? I'm pretty sure it's always pronounced coelacanth. This is pretty much a fish that was found in um, a Chinese trench, like way, way, way under underwater. And this fish is called the living fossil. They have fossils of this thing and it looks exactly the same, and these fossils are millions of years old, so this fish has not changed at all in millions of years, and it is like one of the coolest discoveries that was made, it wasn't even that long ago that it was made, you know, and by not that long ago, I don't know, uh, 1900s or something like that in the year somewhere up on there, so it's still a fairly recent discovery, and that's what the ancient fish is uh, based on. Um, I just, I just want to kind of, oh, no, there you go. Get out of this! Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, da, 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 items. Uh, fish believe it. I know it's called the dredging fish. Interesting. I actually didn't even know that it had a real name. To be honest with you, fish believed to be extinct since the old world, recently discovered near the dark rift. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Nice. So. That, as they say, is that. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. In the next episode, we actually head to a very interesting part of the map. One that we've never really gone through yet. And that would be this, like, little triangular part right here. This is a very unique area with our last Sky Beast, some discoveries to make, and some very interesting things to do here. This is your grinding area, and you will see why. After we were done with this, the last thing we'll be doing is flying between uh, Esperanza and Maramba in our attempt to get the last Aberic Cham. We then only need two more Chams and two more Moonfish, and we will be done with everything. I also have to go through and check to see which discoveries I'm missing, and we may even finish that as well. So, thank you all again. You guys have a good one, and I will catch you all later.